another put together. I'm gonna make that downstreaming J rod, the M5 twist on it, and for for uh, bang or gang gang bang uh, J rod downstream tall reach tip from Southeast Soft Wash MTM Hydro. MPT quarter inch coupler and then the M5 twist this one's going to be the 7 to 12 gallons per minute alright so like I said in the other video it's figuring out do I want them on the outside or just skipping each other so I'm going to look to see how space is do the skip one test. Let's see. They just have enough space to do that, but what I'm more than sure of, besides it being difficult to tighten, with that little amount of space there, got some gas I'm burping up right there. You get the hit. So that's why we need the gap. Then just being able to tighten it. So we'll do the one skip over, which I think would be the best option. I think the the seven ten split there would be too far. So let's pick this up a little. Pretty much what we're looking at it. That's the finished product. And that way, I have seen other videos where uh, they used a, a two-inch, I believe, nipple is it what they call it, quarter inch. So you take off the plug from the M5, and instead of having a quick connect. You just screw it on directly so it ends up being about the same height but with this if I ever do decide to get the X jet I can just swap these out and that way the X jet can be on its own or it can be part of this setup um, I would think I couldn't install two quarter inch couplers together. I have extras. And uh, you try to make everything quarter inch couplers. Yeah, no. It doesn't fit. When you try to make everything quarter inch couplers, I mean, when you try to make everything quick connects, buying quick connects gets very expensive, especially when they're stainless. Now, pressure washing product sells general pump quick connects, and those are going to be cheaper than the MTMs. These are MTMs. I get them directly from MTM. Um, I'll probably put in three orders to MTM, and I might have a fourth. As long as you hit that $75 mark, um, you should get free shipping. That's their current... Shipping special. Just noticing there's a little ridge in here. So let's try the outer. See how that feels. So I think I'll just do the skip. Like in the last video, I was saying that I was going to get the the two gang from. Southeast soft wash, but then it went up 10 bucks from 20 to 30. So it's like, eh, hey, never mind. These were, I think, 18.99 on pressure washer products. So I got this M5 twist from Pressure Tech MTM pressure washer products, Southeast soft wash, and then pressure washer products. For the hydraulic thread locker. So 
So I don't know. I think I might like this a little better. Now this does have weight to it. So maybe actually having it towards the center might help with uh, not putting too much leverage on your quarter disc uh, quick connect over here so when you're using it whether it's directly on the gun not directly on the gun but the quick connect on the gun or at the end of your wand you have that weight centered and then if you put your quick connect here which is likely going to weigh enough to want to shoot like this vertically um, there's not that much leverage as it would be on the outside but I kind of like the way the outside felt and the space in between I don't know if there's something that could be added there maybe you get a another one of the other shooter tips out there Maybe good to grab. Uh, yeah, you could get a good grip on it. Maybe when you're putting the quick connect. Let me get that other one. I believe this one's the one that's going to be on the wand. I mean, on the the gun. That'll be a following video. Just grab and push it on there. With a good grip. This is the gun that I got. This is a General Pump DC G5010. It's their compensating gun. I got this one from Pressure Washer Direct. Uh, they show a picture of it being wide, but this is what's going to look like maroon, maroon, maroon backstrap, and then just a black gun. But for another video so yeah, I think I'll do it like this so let's go ahead and take everything off make it easier for us and like I was saying uh, you could hard thread it on or quick connect and that way you can I don't know you can like I said if you use the X-Jet, it's a smaller orifice, so um, you can rinse off with a little bit more pressure. I don't know what the orifice sizes are. Maybe eventually I'll know. Maybe the, uh, you could go a little crazy and, you know, put your J-Rod on the Quick Connect. So you got a double J-Rod right there. Silly, but you know what? It may just happen out in the field sometime in the future. Yeah, actually, that might be a good idea. I think that's the first time I thought about it like that. Um, maybe also you can use it. Turbo nozzle, switch in between the two, you know, different configurations. Anything quarter inch, quick connect, tips, whatever. So yeah, let's just put it together. Again, cheap setup, video quality. It's going to be what it's going to be. So we're going to do the outside too. We're going to do the same thing. Put some thread locker on here. Two and three spaces. Normally, I'm used to uh, just your regular blue Loctite. I think it's 242. But this is supposed to be for hydraulic fittings. So you don't have to use, allegedly, we'll find out, you don't have to use Teflon tape or uh, pipe dope. Uh, 
once this is out in the field being used, we'll see how well that advertisement works. On the general pump manual for the TSFs, there is a Loctite that's mentioned, and I thought about getting that one. That one's Loctite number 542. And I tried looking for it, and it seems like it's more of a foreign thing, although you can get it on eBay. You just got to make sure you look at the description, and hopefully they notate that uh, what expiration date it has, because some reviews on some were saying that, you know, I received the product, but it was already expired or hardened. And there was one or two that put their expiration dates in the comments. So that one's a red uh, thread locker fluid. This one's blue. It's a medium strength. Just double check the tightness on this. See, this J rod seems str straighter. Maybe I did bend the other one. I don't know. It does seem tough to bend. Alright. So we have our tar reach tip on. Just give it a second go around. Try to keep it somewhat clean. I had just gotten in my flow jet pump. No, uh, I do have a flow jet, but I have a an Everflow three gallon a minute. Hopefully, I can install an iWash little station for the just in case moments. And that one had some thread locker oozing out of one of the screws around the diaphragm gasket. All right, so that's that. Start with a little dab in here. Now because these are MPT threads, they're tapered, so they don't go down all the way. So you don't really need to add thread locker to all the threads. This one actually went further than I thought it would, but like I was saying, let me see. There are still some threads there. So now we're going to tighten this. This one might just go all the way down. Yeah, there's about a thread or two left. And now, see if there's anything else I can. <clears throat> anything left to tighten a little more with both wrenches. feel comfortable. So it's gonna be our downstreaming J rod with the M5 twist. Always make sure you get a good coupling. Don't want any of these to shoot off. Focus there. And so you're still gonna have to hold this to get the twist because I'll we'll move around some there. Now if you do the hard threading, you know, you have that two inch nipple there. Stainless or brass, depending on you know, brass is up to three thousand psi, so you choose 
brass or steel this can be downstream so probably going to want stainless because you can have SH going through it but if you hard thread it on there with that nipple then you should be able to do this without having to hold it it's just that I have the quick connect that doesn't really let it do it all right so that's going to be the video like I said pressure tech on the M5 twist MTM hydro direct for the quick connect pressure washer products for the four gang J rod and then southeast soft wash for the 8 to 10 downstream tar reach tip